Everybody of my generation sporting role model is probably Sonia O'Sullivan. I think probably growing up we didn't really appreciate how difficult what she was doing actually was, you know, to be a middle distance or long distance athlete winning, you know, Europeans, worlds and Olympic medals was just unbelievable and absolutely when I was doing laps around the place I used to pretend that I was Sonia O'Sullivan coming over the line. She was without a doubt one of, one of the biggest idols that I would have looked up to when I was younger. So I was lucky enough to play on the under 14 team, selected to play in the under 14 team. From then on, I've just played inter-county with them uh, every single year, just kept going back. We won the under 14 All-Ireland final at that at that age, and uh, I think nearly 13 of the girls that played in that match were playing in an All-Ireland minor final um, about six years later. So we were a really close group, and there's still a good chunk of us playing playing together now. So it's, it's really nice. I think that's so special about yeah. sports like that. When you play with the same club in the same county, you really kind of forge really, really strong bonds. And, you know, it's almost kind of like a sisterhood or a family that you kind of bring with you. First All-Ireland we played in was in 2009. Uh, so we lost by a point to Cork. And I was only 18 at the time, very much a straight out of minor myself. And Neve McAvoy, Natalia Highland were on the team. So we were kind of the, the babies of the team, I suppose, at the time. And we were just out of minor, just having one minor, having a bit of success underage as well. And then to, to lose the all Ireland final, and then we got back again in 2010 was a great achievement. We kind of said that we probably didn't appreciate how hard it was to win the final in 2010. A lot of the girls had you know, lost 2005, 2004, had spent years trying to get back even to a final in 2009, lost another one and then won in 2010 and I think it was, was only, you know, the, the years in between when we found ourselves kind of trying to drive drive the team and, and drive the standards to getting back to the final that we realised what a massive achievement it was. So I think, you know, the next time around we made sure to, to, to relish it a little bit more. It just showed that it was a full team impact to, to kind of row together and to get over the line and it was just, you know, it was one of the most special days and definitely one of the most special years that we've had as a team as well. And, you know, it was it's something that, you know, you'll never forget, I think, to achieve something like that together after the amount of heartbreak that you've had, just to be able to come back and kind of just, you know, not wipe that slate clean, but just to kind of prove to yourself that you are good enough to win it. Um, and that as a team, you know, we do have the mentality to get over, over the line was just something that was really important for us and obviously really special. Ladies football, I think, has played a massive role in helping to promote women's sport. I think they've been really proactive in getting big sponsors behind it. And I think that's kind of one of the main things in promoting it. I think the quality has always been there in, in sports teams. Um, I think and in, in, in Irish athletes, female athletes particularly, I think just sometimes you need just a little bit of motion and just a little bit of exposure. Big brands coming in, getting behind female athletes and female sports teams helps us give that exposure you know an extra little bit of funding obviously helps as well and then in the last 12 months alone kind of the fruits of that with massive attendance at the ladies final going on then the, the Irish women's soccer team did really well this year the Irish women's hockey team obviously has been one of the most successful sporting teams that we've had without a doubt male or female ever you know it's enjoying a, a really good moment at the moment and I think that's brilliant because I've always kind of said you know if you can see it you can be it and if you've younger girls looking up and seeing all these different role models in such a variety of sports it can kind of encourage them that they can do anything and they can play any sport that they want and there's a structure there and you know there's a chance of success there and I think that's massively important and you know I think hopefully in a few years time we'll be celebrating more and more success.